Hey guys, it's Narcosis, back on YouTube. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing well. This is just a little mini update on the 120, the 120 gallon big boy reef. Alright guys, I'm going to take you a little detour, detour to show you guys some corals. Also, I'm going to get in tune depth on some bad news that has happened to my reef. One of my fish, one of my fish came up sick. So I'll give you the details later on in this video. All right, guys, we are looking at some emeralds on fire zoas. These are definitely some nice looking zoas. They're pretty high end. So for this video footage, I've actually taken my time, did I think a little bit more of a close up of the videos and I feel that it may show some of the uniqueness in my tank. Yes, that is an adaptation. Sorry guys, everyone's tank has sometimes have a problem. But I do have some pretty nice corals in here. I tried to grow them the best I can and get them to thrive. So I did notice that on my ICP test, it did show that I did have low iodine. So once I started dosing iodine, I started seeing a little bit more better results from my reef. I am also still going through the dinoflagellants war and battling it back. And it's also turning into cyano a little bit, but I am trying my best to battle it as I can. And hopefully, just hopefully, I'll start winning the war soon. So as for now, I'll just keep up with only feeding the tank once per day until that I can beat this nutrient issue that is causing this cyanobacteria and this dinoflagellant outbreak. So guys, I'm sorry to say, but I'm going to be showing you here soon some bad news that's going on with my Bangai Cardinal. So he has a lump coming out of his stomach that it seems like every time I feed him, it gets bigger and bigger. And then eventually, after a while, look like this with the lump. I try to operate on him to try to see if I can get some of it out. Once it was protruding out of the lump, the food was going in his mouth and coming out of his stomach out of the lump. So guys, here is a new Durasa that I got for the tank. This is some good news towards the 120 fat boy that it is starting to mature and now it can handle clams. I am so grateful to get this clam into my possession because I really liked it inside of the local fish store. I didn't pay a whole lot for these clams. They were pretty cheap. And here's the next clam that I end up buying. It is a Maxima Tiger Premium clam. It looks very good. I also like the colors and I love the pattern. This is some very good news for the tank. And I was excited that I got these clams and that they are doing well and trying to thrive. So guys, here's the time to give me a thumbs up. Either a thumbs up or a thumbs down, doesn't matter to me anything just show me that you're paying attention to my video with the reaction so here's a little bit more footage of my tank just some close-up shots and some medium distance shots to show the actual colors that I'm getting inside of some of my corals so this tank has been up for about a year and a couple months 
this is what I strive to do. I strive to get my corals to thrive and to look pretty good. I am not the best reefer that's out there. There are others that are better than me, but I do strive to, to try to be better, to try to reach their level and to maybe compete with them someday. Anyways, guys, this is Narcosis. I'm going to leave the rest of the, fi- the footage to be able to be shown with music and for people just to kind of relax and enjoy what I try to bring to the hobby and bring to the community. Thanks a lot, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like to see my next video. I didn't have a whole lot of time for this video, but I did try my best to catch some good footage and put out the video that I promised. All right, guys. See you next Wednesday.